Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Arts Covenant. Last time we did pit fights because pit fights. This time, with a new focus on one of our characters, we are going to head to Paris because I can't pronounce any of these French places. This time, we go to Personal, Wonka. We have finished the wolf bout. We've figured them all out. So let's go and get our final reward from Ernest, who's not here. Got all the stamps. Yeah. He went away. Why did he go away? Told me to give you this. I did that all game long for a seventh key? Doesn't seem particularly valuable. Congratulations on all your victories. Wolfbone isn't over yet. You've really gathered all the stamps. I promise we'll meet again. I filled the stamps already. There was a backside and you never checked it. Three more. All right. Thing is, he doesn't give you the advice on where the other ones are. If you go back, I still don't think he's there. Yeah. So I'm not sure how exactly you're supposed to figure out where the other wolves are. The remaining three will not appear until you've started this part of the quest and got that seventh key and read the note from Ernest. And considering where some of the other ones are, it's kind of a dick move. This is when we go back to this blasted castle. Throw the map up for you. We're heading to the bottom right corner. I'm going to see you all the way down there because there's no point in showing me going through here all over again. Okay, we're back and I've been recording for 20 minutes. Yay for long ass backtracks to find a wolf that I don't know if anyone ever tells you is even here. Blanca is set up with warlock earrings and a pocket watch. And that would be your preferred way of dealing with this. Let's talk to you. Talking wolf? What? Oh, the old guy. Why shouldn't we go any closer to you? Okay, then. Pretty wild. I'll bring him back to his senses. He doesn't even understand me right now. I hate to have to do it. I can't just leave him when he's like this. All right, we have Henry, second bout time. This time, he inflicts some ring abnormalities, don't care. We're going, he's Earth-based, 1200 HP. We're going to just use Soul Comet because why would we do anything else when we have Warlock Earrings? It's probably the fastest way of dealing with this and because he's going to go after our, uh, our magic there with Rock Strike. Maybe you could use Demon Earrings and use normal attacks if you wanted to. I think this is faster, but that's entirely up to you. It also leads to some, at least something different for these fights, other than just an exchange of normal attacks. If you're, you know, sometimes able to use Soul Comet and sometimes it's more since he's physical. But yeah, as long as you're protected against Ring Abnormalities, you should be fine. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Yeah, you do a whole butt ton of damage. Um, how much HP you have left? I can finish you as long as I don't miss. There we go. 
Uh, if you are so inclined, you can inflict poison on him. And as well as uh, physical defense down or special defense down. As well as instant death, now that I think about it. We got a valuable gem. And we finish that up. I don't feel too good about that one. What use is winning when he isn't even in his right mind? Yeah, what, uh, what made you go wild all of a sudden? Travel the world looking for a way to break my curse. Yeah, if you recall, this guy was originally a human, according to him. He just, something happened and he got stuck in the body of a wolf. Interesting. Maybe that's your true character. Maybe you were actually a wolf after all. Don't want to keep standing around listening to the old man talk. This is for you. Soul Comet has been powered up even further. But never mind that. Never mind you and Ernest. Hmm, I wonder what uh, they're foreshadowing here. What else do you say? Stay here quietly. Wouldn't want to uh, get in your way again. Now I'll see you in another 20 minutes when I get out. I talked about it, but I never went in this direction when we were here last time, so I figure I'll at least show this guy. There is a guy here. He'll tell you if you're lost, you can go back through that mirror and you can find your way out. It's indicated by the green arrow on the map. And we're out. It didn't take another 20 minutes. It took probably less than 10. It's a lot faster to get out than it is to get in. With that said, let us return to the Forest of Wind. Here, we'll meet someone we've seen before again, if that makes sense. It's like the uh, previous wolf, we're fighting a rematch this time around as well. Leonardo's bear would be a good idea right about now. Felt this feeling before. Thought I'd say goodbye to this world, but it looks like we meet again. You're right. This uh, Lobo did apparently die and disappeared, unlike most of the other wolves. Put aside shame and came back to life as my younger self, because apparently you can do that. Oh, video game logic. Who cares? <laughs> when you were at the height of your glory, the king of wolves. So one thing to do. Let's settle it. Fighting just to fight, huh? Guess I'm fine with that. Ha! Enough talk. Come on then, rock out. All right, 1280 HP. Lobo. We'll spam instant death like a bitch. So yeah, let's go. I miss, that's sad. The way this fight's gonna go is we exchange normal attacks and I heal. We exchange normal attacks and I heal. And miss the ring 90% of the time. Lovely. Uh, crate, Red Cradle is something he can do as well. I prefer he does that because it does substantially less damage. But uh, I do have demon earrings on. So I can do more damage, but of course he can do more damage to me, so I would prefer he just go with the Red Cradle. Yeah, protection against in instant death is pretty much a requirement. I think all of his physical attacks are instant death. I missed again! Oh well. Yeah, there's not uh, much left to this fight. Interestingly enough, uh, according to the wiki for this game, 
the legendary King of Wolves is age 26 and born in New Mexico. I have no idea if that means anything, but whatever. Their roots are here. I still can't hit the damn perfect on it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I might have been able to finish him off that round. Yeah, I could have. Wasn't paying attention. I was instead looking at my other screen. And for doing that, we get instant death four, which I will happily take. I should probably put that on somebody. You beat me, even as the king of the wolves. Congratulations, Blanca. I managed to win somehow. Never thought I'd be fighting my own blood relative twice. Must be karma. Only here temporarily anyway. Can't stay in this world for long. Would you get a day pass? What are you, Goku? Or Frieza. Eh, whatever. Anyway, I was able to be a warrior to the very end of my days. Can't relax now, just because you beat me. Ernest is even. Well, there's the second little bit of information that says, hmm. Then Ernest. With that being said, only makes sense. We have one, actually surprisingly not, not just one final destination to go, but we have one obvious next destination. So let's head over there and I'm going to save and reset myself up. And we will see you in Paris in a moment. Okay, we have returned. This is what happens when you enter that same area of Paris. What the bloody hell is that? Never heard of him. Wolfman, Wolf Suit Star, beloved hero of all little children. Um... Who cares who you are? You're the 15th and final wolf. Do you really think you can beat me? It's the fruit of all my long years of research. Wolf technology. Strongest hunter on earth. Okay then. As the wolf man, I'll purge the world of wolves. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? hell you will. Wolfman is the final wolf bout. 1800 HP wind base can inflict special attack down. So I have demon earrings on. I also have some additional physical protection. And as you can see, he's pretty fast. Two things you can do to try and keep up. One of them is to actually cast Gale, and it's one of the few fights where it might be worthwhile to cast Gale. The other thing that's a good idea to do is to cast Shield to help soften some of the damage that you're going to be putting up with. Rocket Fist! The sad part about this, it's funny, it's stupid, but it takes forever. That was with shield in effect. This is going to be a long fight. I do have de demon earrings on, so I am taking additional damage, but this is going to be a long, long fight. The worst part is if you're trying to get every conceivable extra item, is perfect green victory here will reward you quote unquote with a strike expand i can buy them now it's going to take way too long to try and do that and this is a difficult fight so i'm not going to bother i could have given blanca more strike expands to make it easier but uh no i didn't I'm still going to try and get the, uh, yeah, he can use energy charge. 
It sucks. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, he got to go right away. Um, normally when he does energy charge, you block, but he got his extra turn that time. That was unfortunate. Third route time. I missed. Well, he's going for it again. Now, normally what happens when he does this, you'll get your turn or the game will be cheese and won't let me get my turn. Now, this is with shield in effect. You can only imagine I didn't have it in effect. And I will be reestablishing it uh, upcoming here when it runs out. But first, I need to heal. Actually, you know what? I could probably chance doing shield now. Didn't get the perfect. That's kind of unfortunate, but... Alright. Fair root. Fully healed. And you're going straight for that. Now, I did just heal, so hopefully... Or the game's going to cheese and he's always going to get his turn. You can see how much additional damage it's doing now. I'd rather you use your normal attack over anything else since it does the least amount of damage. The other thing you're going to have to watch out for in this fight for the first time in a long time is SP. He's going to get two turns, so I know he's going to try and use it. So I'm just going to defend, which will change it so he doesn't get two turns. But either way, defending isn't a terrible move in this fight. Energy charge again. Stop beating up poor Blanca. I'm going to... I'm going to play this really risky and see if I can kill him. Yes, okay, we got it. Perfect. Not exactly perfect because I missed a couple of rings. Like I said, though, if you want another Strike Expand, Perfect Ring Victory in this fight will get it for you. It's just not worth the effort, in my opinion, of going for it because, well, we can buy them. And it's just a really long fight. My wolf suit armor, it failed me. That's what happens to guys who try to mask what they really are. So yeah, that was indeed just Ernest in a suit as was pretty obvious to anyone. <laughs> Why did you start this whole thing in the first place? I'll tell you. 20 years ago, you used to hunt wild beasts. That's when I ran into Lobo as your enemy. I beat him. As soon as I did, I got an intense desire to fight even stronger wolves. Random, but okay. There aren't any, there weren't any wolves stronger than Lobo, decided to create some by having stronger wolves fight each other because, I don't know, Pokemon or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, him and his ego. Just to fight a strong wolf. Gotta kill you. Don't care about that. Exactly. We don't want Tetsu coming after us. Here's your final stamp. For that, Soul Comet is increased to Red Comet. It is at its most powerful point, and we get a Beast Metal, which I believe is Blanca's ultimate weapon. Or did it say Breast Metal? I don't know. Sure, it'll help you. 
It does say beast metal. Okay. Alright, let us show that off. Another little bit... No, I didn't want to show off that one. I wanted to show off that one. Created by Ernest after decades of animal research. A powerful tool that allows the user total control over animals. Alright, ultimate weapon number one has been acquired. Now I want to do go to Blanca. Alright. You keep training and telling it's strong, blah blah blah. Got out of the hunter business. I'll be a regular old zoologist. Now the thing is, that is not the extent of the story. For the extent of the story. See you in 20 minutes when I find him again. I think I have a problem. I missed. Yeah, I'm fast. Fast is good. Okay, we have arrived at long last. You're not a wolf. Turn back into your human form. Interesting. Good for you. <laughs> Ernest was the one who put a curse on you, apparently. Curse lifted. Well. I'm not sure it would be embarrassing, but if you say so. What are you going to do now? It's all on a trip when this all happened. I think I'll just continue your journey. Okay. Yeah, you're not a kid anymore. You take care, too. Yep, I went all the way back in here for a very short scene. One thing to pay Ernest back. Next time you go to Paris, you might see an interesting development. This is not required for the side quest, by the way. You just need to collect the item and you're good to go. But because I have problems and I need to show off as much as I possibly can, we have one final stop to make before the end of the episode. Still have a problem. Oh, I missed again. I flinched. And we're back. Man, this episode has taken a long time to record. <laughs> I have been recording for a hundred or an hour and 24 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's Blanca. Gotta help me. Huh? You a friend of yours? Mm hmm. Never seen him before. Tits. Okay, you were a wolf and now you're not. But you're a human. I was always a human. Oh. Now, if you recall all the way back to the very beginning of this quest, we defeated Tetsu and Ernest remarked that you're not even a real wolf anyway. I'm not sure why they kept him in a dog suit the whole time, but okay. Sure. Gotta help me, it's Ernest. He turned into a bug? A bug. Yeah, that's this video game for you, Yuri. Had to get uh, set up an insect boat so he could turn back into a human and went flying off. Come to think of it, did one thing to pay Ernest back. Of course, this is Henry talking, or uh, Blanc is just recalling it. Next time you go, might see an interesting development. Did he really? I don't know how either of these curses have changed people into animals or bugs, 
But uh, you can't change into a wolf anymore. Well, it's definitely something. It's definitely something. Okay then. Next time. Or is it here? It is here. Next time we'll go to Az Azabu Kamiyashiki. And we will do some storyline stuff. This is the penultimate dungeon, and it's not a necessarily long one. But that doesn't mean we're, you know, a couple dungeons away from the end. Once we do that, we unlock, I think, pretty much the rest of the side quests in the game. Like, we have unlocked a bunch after finishing up uh, in the Immortal Mountain. But I believe this one unlocks everything else. I have like three pages of notes before we get to the final dungeon. So, um, hope you like side quests. Cause this game has a lot of them. Well, not really a lot of them. Basically, each character has their own side quest. We've done Blanca's already. And that's pretty much all we get for Blanca's quest is it's his own uh, storyline that he gets to deal with with the wolf boat. Everyone else typically gets their own dungeon or their own side quest. We've already begun one of them with Karen. The uh, Fort of Regrets. But the rest of them, like we can go and finish the Fort of Regrets uh, now or we can get the items required to finish it now. Or, well, we will after we finish up here. But yeah, next time, we go here. And after that, many, many side quests. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.